Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. So I would want you to give it for your support that you have created. All right, you made it one or more of these steps and conditions and everything, all these conditions over here. You can have one or more of these conditions. It will remove them. Try to play around with this. I want you to. In a nutshell, I want you to understand what these steps are from a business perspective. That's the only intent, because by now you guys should be familiar with how the business process transaction works, how I can play around with the business process, the policies, and everything. So the next step is going to be to understand a little bit of more business relevant steps over there. That's my intent. Clear on this. Any questions? And, like I said, you can do any kind of change of, you can change a supervisor. You can change the location. Any transaction that you want you can do. And I will also try to pick the hire for this particular business transaction, because yesterday it was not visible. Now it is visible because I just made a small change in the domain set policies. So hire for OK, so I have this. All right, so they've created a hire as well for this particular organization. So that is more a closer one to the actual, real one. That's why I'm just picking this hire for global, modern services, which is the work they delivered. Supervise your organization. All right, oh, somebody's played around with this. Okay. Okay. Tough luck. I thought they wouldn't have played with this, but something has been changed. I have higher, higher. Okay. I did it because better definition for this, because they have actually played around with this a lot and they have changed so much of stuff. I was hoping that it should be a little simpler one. Happens to be not. All right. So the next thing I just want to show you today is about termination business process. So termination, ideally, when I'm going to be terminating any person, that is when this particular termination business process is going to be triggered. For example, let me go to Logan McNeil. I go to relevant actions over here and I'm going to be terminating Logan McNeil right now. So if I come over, There. If I come to change, change job, I say terminate employee. Then I already have all of these changes, which are currently being done. Is somebody doing an additional change job over here? Hello, is somebody actually working on the change job? Additional change job for Logan McNeil, which we saw just now. No, no, no worries. All right, so this is something which I have done, so before I initiated terminate business process. What will I really happen is this. These two transactions should have been closed or taken to a logical closure. That's why we are not able to go ahead with this. All right. So when I'm going to be having a terminate business process, ideally, this terminate business process is quite lean over here, that you see. You don't see any big challenges, but ideally in a real world, terminate business process. You will have multiple steps as well as number one and number two.
I think it was getting a who asked this particular question right. Whenever I'm going to be terminating somebody, I also need to have relevant actions where there is going to be a handoff of the roles that particular person is doing to somebody else. Right. So if you see over here, I can have an action over here and I can assign role changes and everything which is going to take care of all the roles which probably my user, in this case Logan McNeil, is going to be doing. I can have this reassignment done to somebody else. Clear. So if you see over here, if I say assign roles, change assignment for worker, this is the relevant action which I will use. So currently, if I'm going to terminate Logan McNeil, if Logan McNeil is, for example, the HR partner for the supervisor organization Oregon, who is going to be the new HR partner for Oregon supervisor organization post the termination of Logan McNeil. That is defined by this particular action. And for this particular action, I can have it as a step and I can have certain people assigned as the person who will be assigning all of this. So let me just have this assigned as HR partner. So this is just a simple step that I have over here and I will say, okay, let me just give the order as B. So first up, this is a very simple definition. What this particular BP is going to be doing. This is a default termination business process which I've used over here. So I think this is a assigned, is a completion step. Okay. So let me just put this as a completion step. It should be done. So what will happen is first, when I'm going to have a termination initiated for somebody, the first step that is going to happen is it's going to be initiated by a person. Next change job change assignments for the worker. So if, like I said, if the person is going to be an HR partner for CR organization, Rian supervisory organization, who is going to be the new HR partner for that particular supervisory organization is determined by this particular step. And likewise, I can have so many different steps as well in colluding. Some of the ones which are common are like changing the benefit election effective the termination date, which means I'm going to be the benefit election say effective the termination date. For example, if Logan McNeil is going to be terminated effective today, I can have a step which is going to say stop the benefit, termination effective the 22nd of September. I can have another one saying that change payroll effective date. I can send across a note and number of other transactions or other steps in my business process which could be like changing the benefit, election, a post-termination date, changing the payroll date, or I can even inactivate a person's workday profile saying that inactivate this particular workday profile effective the termination date. I can have multiple such actions done as a part of my termination business. We've already seen about hire. If you want the same worker, initiate a change job and you may have to create your own change job definition based on the one that I showed for Global Modern Services, and I'm putting the name of that particular business versus on the chat. Please pick it up. And then, once you do it, try to terminate the business. Try to have a termination initiated for the same worker as well. And you may want to stay around with this termination business process as well and see how that works as well. Clear on the activity for today. And you may have one and more of steps and whatever steps you want. You try to do it and try to have the HR partner for now assign HR partner and manager. 
I'll try to fix some of the security assignments around other roles as well in the maintain security group assignment, because multiple roles have so many other issues. So I'll try to fix as much as I can for the weekend and have hopefully have more role assignments. Clear. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.